Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World today. Well, we're not in Sao Paulo the city, we're in Sao Paulo the state. What I want to give you are the five don'ts of when you do visit the mega city of Sao Paulo, okay? Now, the first don't of Sao Paulo is don't expect to get anywhere quickly, okay? Sao Paulo is huge between 14 and 25 million people live in the city or the metro area depending on who you talk to and those people are going 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 like seven million cars in the city and it really takes a long time to get anywhere so if you're going to be going to the airport to fly out don't think oh well google says it takes 45 minutes i'm like <laughs> Google says it's 45 minutes from downtown to the airport? You're crazy, okay? Just know, getting anywhere will take a lot of time because of all the people, all the traffic, and all these kind of things. So that's the first thing. Don't expect to get anywhere quickly. Now, the second don't we have about going to Sao Paulo is don't miss the Mercado Municipal. Go to the municipal market when you are there. It's this beautiful building you go to. When you go inside, they have all the stalls with meats and, and fruits and vegetables and spices. And there's restaurants and all kinds of really cool places to go in there and experiment. And for a foreigner coming to Brazil, this is your chance to learn about and see and taste all these amazing fruits and stuff like that when you're there. And the people there are fantastic. And they're like, take you care, don't come here. And they'll cut the fruit up, try this, try this. This one guy, he's like, oh, have a natural uh, strawberry, uh, chocolate covered strawberry. He took a date, cut it in half, put a strawberry, and it says, try it. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. He's like, try this fruit. I'm like, what, do I bite the fruit? Do they cut it open? Do I eat the seed? Do I eat the outside, the inside? I don't know. And they teach you all these things. And it's not just, oh, these are fruits that I don't know the name of in terms of translation, these are fruits I've never seen in my entire life. And you have those things there. And it's such an amazing experience for anybody to go there. Every time I go down to downtown Sao Paulo, I always wanted to go there. I actually used to live in Sao Paulo. So I, I love the place. It's a free, I mean, the place is so much fun. Like the city in general. And Mercado Municipal is so cool. But when you go there, don't forget to eat the mortadella sandwich or the <coughs> bologna sandwich. Now you're thinking bologna. Why would I want bologna? It's like, uh, no, no. No. Go and have a real mortadella bologna sandwich in the Mercado Municipal. It, it's a must when you are there, so don't forget to do that. Now, my third don't I have is don't be afraid to eat non-Brazilian food in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is a mixing pot of all of Brazil. You can have the amazing Italian food, Lebanese food, um, Japanese food. There's a million Japanese people in Sao Paulo. And you have these amazing mixtures of flavors and cultures in Sao Paulo. It's such a great kind of melting pot of Brazil that you really should eat more than just Brazilian food when you are there. Now what's cool though is if you want to try any kind of Brazilian food from the north, south, east, west, wherever, that's the place you go. Sao Paulo is where you can try all the different cuisines from all over Brazil. So don't be afraid to experiment with food when you are there because it is something you got to do. Now my fourth don't of going to Sao Paulo is don't forget to keep your wits about you. Meaning don't forget to be paying attention. When you go to Sao Paulo you're going to see people are dressed up more. It's more of an urban jungle than a rainforest jungle kind of thing. And you go there and you're expecting oh maybe it's going to be different. No, you've got to pay attention with your watches and your wallets and things like that. When you're driving Driving there, don't drive there. It's it, it's scary when you're driving with all the things moving in and the and the guys when you park like oh I helped you find your spot you got to pay me or your car's gonna get hurt or stuff like that. Look, you got to keep your wits about you when you're on the metro and you're going through rush hour traffic. It can be scary with how many people are on there and there's people that you might not even realize are trying to pickpocket you. We were downtown. Literally, we just got to the Jurea today. We were in Sao Paulo yesterday and people I could feel like trying to grab my wallets while I had everything in the front with my stuff here, taking making sure I was covered. You got to keep your wits about you there. So don't, don't kind of let your guard down when you are there. Now, the fifth don't I have for you is don't expect a beach. Yes, I know there's a beach behind me, but Sao Paulo is like four hours away. Look, Sao Paulo is not the Brazil you see in the postcards and on the tourism things and all these things. That's Rio, that's Bahia where you got the beaches and the colorful culture kind of things and, and the, the animals and the rainforest and all that stuff. That is not Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is culture. It's shopping, the best shopping in all of South America. It's eating, like I said before. The museums there, the Museum of Modern Art is totally cool. The Pinoteca do Estado, it's a great place for Brazilian, uh, Brazilian art. Uh, the Maspi, which is really cool, it's the museum that's 
above ground you'll see that there that's something cool you really should go see if you want to get like your european art and there's a brazilian art there as well there's actually a place in downtown right across from maspi is the old mato the forest or it's not it's not a rainforest like tropical rainforest the atlantic forest that was what sao paulo was before it was sao paulo was there they actually have that in this city and there's tons of cultural centers there i've seen some great exhibits on dinosaurs and different artists and that's what's so cool is no it don't expect a beach but do expect a lot of cultural excitement so go there and experience it okay so when you are here yes i know it's not the brazil you're thinking of with the beaches but it does have a lot to offer oh and i guess i'll give you like a sixth don't don't forget to update the uber app when you come to sao paulo because taxes can be a bit crazy but if you got uber they work really well in sao paulo even the locals are all saying hey do you got that do you guys have that uber thing in america i'm like yes yes we have uber in america oh good because here it's really great so make sure you use that Anyway, those are my five, maybe six don'ts of Sao Paulo. If you want to learn more, five things you love and hate about Sao Paulo, 10 things that'll shock you about Sao Paulo, what you should know before you go to Brazil, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all these places, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. If you get a chance to go to Brazil, I highly recommend it. The people are fantastic. The food is fantastic. The weather, well, today is not so great, but every other day, this place is awesome. So I'll say adeus from not Sao Paulo the city, but Sao Paulo the state. So at least we got that. <laughs> Bye.